It's not often you get to meet a man who's made Nazi war criminals face up to their crimes against humanity. But we got the chance to talk to Eli Rosenbaum recently at the Four Seasons restaurant in Manhattan. As a top prosecutor for the Department of Justice, he was in New York for a special event sponsored by the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. Rosenbaum grew up in Westbury and went to high school in East Meadow. He has probably brought more Nazis to justice than anybody else in America, and he's one hell of a nice guy. The, the work is, is suffused with, with tragedy, with sadness, um, also with frustration because um, it, it, these cases are exceedingly difficult to, to assemble uh, from an investigative standpoint. The crimes took place decades earlier on the other side of a vast ocean. The evidentiary trail has been, has been cold for, I mean, literally decades. Uh, the people who might have cooperated uh, with a government investigation, uh, for the most part, were killed in the uh, uh, during the perpetration right, of the crime. Right. So, uh, and, and of course, the Nazis, when you question them, and I've questioned a lot, uh, including here yeah. in Manhattan and on Long Island, um, they don't tell the truth for the most part. Yeah, I, I, it, uh, the job did get to me. Um, uh, we were from the very earliest uh, point that this program launched in 1979, and I was the original summer intern, uh -huh. summer law intern, so. My entire career is really a summer internship gone awry. I came back as a uh, uh, prosecutor after I graduated law school in 1980. Um, and even then we were told that time was against us. These people were all either senior citizens right. then or about to become uh, seniors, seniors. And that we had to work as fast as we uh, responsibly could. Not as fast as we could, as fast as we right. responsibly could. Right. Uh, so the time pressure was enormous. The, uh, I think it was a combination of uh, sometimes feeling that if I took even a, a, a weekend day off, uh, because I used to go in on, on the weekends, um, if I took a day off, some Nazi was going to go free, and I didn't like feeling that guilt. And it was also the experience of interviewing the survivors, uh, and I did that a lot. Um, and that was at once the most um, uh, fulfilling um, part of the job, um, because they all supported what we were doing. Um, and. I like to think that this effort is, is, is carried out for the, the victims who, who perished and the victims who survived. One of the first Nazi cases that the Office of Special Investigations, with, at which I would later work, handled was in Mineola, which, I mean, I bicycled through Mineola, um, um, Boleslav Smykovskis, who lived on a Grant Avenue in Mineola, and one of the more amazing things I ever saw was a, a, a Soviet Latvian television propaganda film, pretty short, about 15 minutes, that, that we got. Um, I think it aired in the 1970s, the Soviets telling their Latvian subjects, you know, how bad the Nazis were and how we, the Soviets, liberated you from, from them. Uh, and they had taken a surveillance video of Mykovskis' house in in, in Mineola, and it was that old-fashioned, you know, uh, film camera in a bag kind of thing, you know, it's yeah, shaky, right, and, yeah. and then they show the sign of Grant Avenue, and I'm like, wow, this is the KGB, presumably, uh -huh. somebody from the Soviet uh, UN mission, probably in New York, driving out to, to Mineola when I'm living there, and As taking, a teenager. Yeah, and taking yeah. surveillance video on Grant Avenue in Mineola. He had been um, uh, a police official uh, in Rzeczny, Latvia, uh, and um, uh, helped uh, burn down the entire village, and a lot of people were killed. And he fought that case for years and years and years. Uh, we finally uh, uh, got an order of deportation against him. We don't have criminal jurisdiction in these that's, cases yeah, because weird. the crimes were right. committed in, you know, right. outside the country. But we could deport them to countries that would try them. Mykovskis was uh, deported to Germany in the early 1990s, I think, and was put on trial um, in Germany, uh, and then the trial was suspended uh, because he uh, uh, was in uh, poor health. People often ask me when there's a Holocaust movie out, um, yeah. like Defiance, yeah. did you see it, what'd you think? And I said, you know what, I haven't seen it. I'm not gonna see it because I've been working on Nazi cases for 30 years, I've been immersed in it. It's almost 24-7. Exactly, and on those rare occasions when I get to go out with my wife to a movie, I okay. want to laugh. Right. So if you ask me what was the last movie I saw, was it, it was called, I think, The Candidate, Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah, sure. Great movie. Hilarious. I just want to laugh. Yeah. Just want to laugh.